Welcome to 2022. Expecto Patronum. Guys, I am like the biggest Harry Potter geek. So talking about Harry Potter, I had to bring out the cape, my wand, my fake Harry Potter glasses. I mean, this is the greatest franchise of all time. Harry Potter Return to Hogwarts, the 20th anniversary, is all cast members from all Harry Potter films reunite to celebrate the anniversary of the first film, including interviews and cast conversations. So this really isn't a review. This is basically a discussion because it's the brand new year and what does HBO Max do on January 1st? They released the 20th anniversary, just interviews of the entire cast talking about Harry Potter because 20 years ago, the first one was released in theaters, that's just insane because technically my very first movie I ever saw in theaters was the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes. But my mom says I was running up and down the stairs. I was that kid. So my first movie that I actually sat down and watched the movie was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone. But for this interviews and this cast members coming back, this was a treat for me especially. Me being a huge Harry Potter fan and watching this made me smile. My childhood is so important to these movies. Now I have talked in the past about how the original Spider-Man trilogy was a huge part, of course Jurassic Park and all those films, but I always will say my favorite franchise, my favorite world, my favorite series is the Harry Potter franchise. Now Fantastic Beasts there's something different, but those eight movies, Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grant, those three, seeing them reunite in this special made me just really happy. Even though they're obviously not in character or anything, it's just them conversating for a two hour, a little event. I was just enjoying this, seeing the entire cast and they all talk about all eight movies. We get all the directors and it just, it made me so happy inside. I'll tell you this, after this movie was over, I really wanted to pop in the first one and start my next Harry Potter uh, binge because every year, me and my mom, every single year, we watch the entire franchise at least twice a year. No joke. Twice a year, we will sit down and we will watch all eight movies over like a weekend or a week. It don't matter. We will sit there and watch Harry Potter because it's just so amazing. Obviously, each movie got better in quality, performances, and just, of course, the CGI. It just feels like an evolution, and this special really goes on that. It's like an evolution on their acting and how they got better and how, like, when other actors came in, Helen Bob Carter and Alan Rickman, like, they were talk about how good they were and, like, guys, this is acting. Like, we're, we're kids and all, but, like, these are the actors here. And I thought that was so cool to see their perspective and talk about that and how they've all reunited again in the halls and on the sets whatever and they were talking about how they haven't seen each other that much because obviously this was filmed like I think like probably like less than five months ago but it was really well made and documented and I really just sat there thinking this franchise is so important to me like guys Harry Potter is my deep down childhood I was born in 1999 and I grew up for 10 years going to the movie theaters and watching these movies, always being excited and never being disappointed. Harry Potter, the franchise itself, is my favorite franchise of all time. It's an amazing series. I recommend watching this special. It's a great two hours. You get to see the entire cast talk about it. And it's just so, puts a smile on your face. Like even like not being a big Harry Potter fan, watching this, you can just tell that these actors took the care and they really wanted to give out some uh, great movies and they did so. Now I'm not gonna grade this because it is just a special, it's not really a movie because this is more of a discussion, not even a review, but listen, go and watch it, it's on HBO Max. It was just a delight, especially on the first day of the year. This is, this is what I needed right now, honestly. As a Harry Potter fan, this is what I needed. And last year going to Harry Potter World and Universal for the first time, getting this cloak, getting Harry's wand and the Elder Wand. It was just a magical event. I also had to go on Jurassic Park ride for the first time, which is just amazing. But anyway, guys, we guys had a great New Year's. We got a whole year of movie reviews, so get ready for that. But I'm glad I got to start off with a great special. Anyway, guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Expecto Patronum.